Madam President, uh, today I, I rise in support of the Inhofe Utility Act Amendment. Uh, this amendment protects communities and jobs in the West, in the Midwest, and in Appalachia, and specifically jobs that depend on coal. These communities depend on coal to heat and cool their homes at an affordable price, uh, to power the factories where, where they work, to generate revenue that creates additional jobs. Uh, we are talking about affordable domestic coal that also pays for the mortgages on their homes, the clothes and food for their children, and the medical care for their grandparents. I will tell you, if the Utility Mac rule is allowed to proceed, it would mandate that virtually no new coal-fired power plants could be built anymore in the United States. Many still in existence would have to shut down. It is painful, painful to think about all of these folks who will be out of work, their bills mounting, their families losing their homes, their future looking bleak. Now, the amazing thing is that the EPA does not dispute these outcomes, does not dispute what I'm saying. They know exactly what they are doing. Their ideology is more important to them than the living and breathing people of our coal communities. Just ask the EPA Region 1 Administrator, Curtis Spaulding, who was visiting with a group of students in, uh, in Connecticut. What he went on to talk about was the fact, he said, basically, gas plants are the performance standard, which means that if you want to build a coal plant, he said, you have a big problem. He said, this was a huge decision. And he's talking about these regulations that have come out of uh, Lisa Jackson, the, the head of the EPA. He, he went on to tell this group of students, he said, you've got to remember, he said, if you go to West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and all those places, you have coal communities who depend on coal. He said, and to say that we just think those communities should just go away. That's what he said, should just go away. He said, we can't do that. But she had to do what the law and policy suggested. He said it was painful. He said it was painful every step of the way. But they did it anyway. President Obama's heavy-handed EPA admits that these communities in West Virginia, Pennsylvania, many other states in the West, Midwest, and Appalachia, he said, will just go away. Chilling words, because the EPA is supposed to be about protecting people, protecting their communities, protecting their environment, and protecting their health. With the Utility Act rule, the EPA is doing just the opposite. They are making communities go away. They are hurting communities, communities of families, children, seniors, gone as a result of these regulations. How could one justify these actions? Well, we are told that there are enormous health benefits. That's what they say, enormous health benefits, they claim, to the public by the issuance of this rule. First of all, how do you protect something if the community is gone? So obviously, these folks in West Virginia, Pennsylvania, are not the beneficiaries of EPA protection. Second, the medical benefits of the rule come from reductions in particulate matter in areas of the country that are currently well within healthy thresholds set by the EPA. I will tell you, the EPA is cooking the books. Now, this rule does very little to protect the public health. In fact, it creates a health crisis in this country because of the additional unemployment, the unemployment that this rule is going to cause in the West, the Midwest, and in Appalachia. To highlight the point, on Monday of this week, uh, the number of us in the Senate who are, who are physicians, who are doctors, sent a letter to President Obama. This letter, and I ask that uh, this be included in the, in the congressional record. Thank you, thank you, Madam President. In this letter, we expressed our concerns about the impending health crisis that the unemployment caused by the EPA's policies is having on families, on children, on pregnant mothers, and on the elderly. The letter reads in part, we are writing to express our concern that the barrage of regulations coming out of the Environmental Protection Agency, barrage of regulations designed to end coal in America in an American electricity generation will have a devastating effect on the health of the American families. Just before you made the decision, Mr. President, to withdraw the EPA's plan to revise its ozone standard, a plan which would have destroyed hundreds of thousands of jobs, your former White House Chief of Staff, Bill Daley, asked the question, what are the health impacts of unemployment?
So today we are requesting that you consider your former aides question carefully. Instead of putting forth rules that create great economic pain, which will have a terrible effect on public health, we hope that go forward will you will work with Republicans to craft policies that actually achieve both environmental protection and economic growth. And that's the key, and economic growth, not economic destruction. As you know, proponents of your EPA's aggressive agenda, the letter goes on, claim that regulations that kill jobs and cause electricity rates to skyrocket will somehow be good for the American people. We come to this issue as medical doctors and would like to offer our second opinion. The EPA's regulatory regime will devastate communities that rely on affordable energy, on children whose parents will lose their jobs, and the poor and elderly on fixed incomes that do not have the funds to pay for higher energy costs. The result for public health will be disastrous in ways not seen since the Great Depression. Later on, we talk about, uh, in, in the letter, we talk about the latest research on, on the health impacts of unemployment. Uh, there's a, a doctor from Johns Hopkins who testified just last year before the Senate Environment and Public Health Committee explaining that unemployment is a risk factor, a risk factor for elevated illness and mortality rates. In addition, the National uh, Center for Health Statistics has found that children in poor families are four times as likely to be in bad health as, as other families. Economists have also uh, studied this issue. Uh, the New York Times, May 13th of this year, the human disaster of unemployment. The human disaster of unemployment. And that's what this EPA regulation is going to do today, cause additional human disaster for people out of work. We included for the President a, a, a copy of, uh, of a report that, that, uh, that I've written called uh, Red Tape Making Americans Sick, a new report on the health impacts of high unemployment. Studies show EPA rules cost Americans their jobs and their health. This report contains the latest research from medical professionals from Johns Hopkins, from Yale, and others that show that unemployment causes serious health impacts. Madam President, unemployment has been rampant in this country under this administration. And it's been due in many ways to the mountains of job-crushing red tape from the EPA and other agencies. The EPA's utility MAC rule will only make things worse for hard-hit areas in the West, the Midwest, and Appalachia. You know, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, since 2008, Montana's lost 3,200 manufacturing jobs, Missouri, 41,000, Ohio, 100,000, Michigan, 67,000 jobs lost, Pennsylvania, 80,000, West Virginia, 7,000. Each one of these people who lost their job will be subjected to a greater risk of cancer, heart attack, stroke, depression, higher incidence that we know of, uh, of spousal abuse, substance abuse uh, in these families. As demonstrated by the, the latest research, their children will suffer too as medical costs pile up, as electricity bills to heat and cool their homes skyrocket, and the cost of everyday living continues to go up. The Utility Act will only expose thousands more to these risks. The EPA should immediately stop pushing expensive regulations that put Americans out of work and into their doctor's office. Instead of exacerbating unemployment and harming public health, this administration and this EPA needs to work with Republicans. Work together in our efforts to implement policies that achieve true health benefits without destroying jobs and indeed American affordable energy in the process. We need to keep American energy and make American energy as clean as we can, as fast as we can, while still keeping good paying jobs and keeping energy prices affordable. This is a recipe for a healthier, economically stronger country. I urge a yes vote for the Inhofe Utility Mac Amendment. And I thank the President and uh, yield the floor.